It is time for another story time with Junie B. Jones. Yesterday, we read chapters one and two. And for those of you who don't know, this is our book club pick for our kids book club for this month of April. So we will have a book club later on in the month. I will post the dates and the Google Meet link. So I'm gonna read this for you all, three, chapters three and four today. Are you ready? This one's called The Boss. On Saturday, I got out of bed very thrilled. Then I run to the garage, and I grabbed my daddy's fishing net, and I zoomed right into the kitchen. Mother was eating cereal. Mother, mother, guess why I have this fishing net? Guess, mother, guess, guess. I couldn't wait for her to guess, because today's the day I'm catching that crazy old raccoon, I shouted. Mother closed her eyes. No, Junie B, no. We already talked about this, remember? We discussed the raccoon at dinner last night. I smiled very happy. I already know that. I already know we discussed the raccoon. Mother looked confused. But Daddy and I said, no, Junie B. She said, we said you could not catch a raccoon. Raccoons have sharp claws and teeth, remember? Yes, of course I remember. That's how come I got this net, Mother. See how long the handle is? Now I will be safe from him. Mother spelled the word no. N O no, she said. I stamped my foot. Y E S, yes, I said back. I have to, Mother. I have to catch a raccoon for pet day. Grandma Miller even said I could, and she is the boss of you. Just then, a miracle happened, and it is called my Grandma Helen Miller walked right in my back door. Mother looked up. Oh, look, it's the boss of me, she said, kind of grouchy. <laughs> I run at my grandma very happy. Grandma Miller, Grandma Miller, I'm so glad to see you because Mother said I can't catch a raccoon, and so now you have to make her. I stood back to give her room. Okay, go. I said. Then I waited and waited, but Grandma didn't do anything. Okay, go, I said louder. Only just then I saw something that made me even happier, and it's called my Grandma was wearing her fishing hat. My eyes popped out at that thing. Grandma, hey Grandma, you're wearing your fishing hat, and so that must mean you're going to the lake today. I quick ran to the front door. Is Grandpa Miller going to the lake with you? Is he out there in the truck? I looked outside. Hey, he is, Grandma, he is out there in the truck. I opened the door. Grandpa Miller, hey, Grandpa Frank Miller, good news, I can come to the lake with you, I believe, because there's lots of raccoons to catch up there. Even more raccoons, even more than at your house, probably. I zoomed back to the kitchen. You see, she's running out the front door. Here, Grandma, hold my raccoon net. I will put on my clothes and be back in a jiffy. Jiffy is the nickname for Speedy Quick. Grandma Miller grabbed me by my PJs. No, honey, wait, she said. I'm afraid you can't come with us today. We're meeting some friends and we're already late. We just stopped by to borrow your daddy's ice chest. Just then, I felt very crumbling inside. Yeah, only I have to come, Grandma. I have to, I said, or else how will I catch a raccoon today? Grandma Miller bended down next to me. Yes, well, you see, that's another thing, sweetie, she said, about that raccoon. I was just kidding when I said that, Junie B. I never dreamed you would take me seriously. Just then, my nose started to sniffle. Yeah, well, you dreamed wrong, Helen, I said. Grandma Miller hugged me real tight. Oh, come on now, don't cry, she said. There are lots of other animals you can catch for pet day. Animals that are much nicer than raccoons. I shook my head real fast. No, there are not either, Grandma Miller. You are just saying that to trick me, I said. Then I stood there and stood there a real long time. What if she wasn't tricking? What if there really was lots of other animals? Finally, I did a big breath. Okay, tell me the other animals, but this better be good. Grandma Miller did a smile. 
Wait right here, she said. Then she ran out to her truck and back again. She was hiding something behind her back. Junie B, I've got someone who would love to meet you, she said. Close your eyes and I'll put him in your hand. My tummy got butterflies in it. What is it, Grandma? Will it tickle me? Will I like it? It won't bite me, will it, Grandma Miller? Huh? It won't, right? Then I closed my eyes real tight and Grandma opened up my fingers. And she put the surprise right in my hand. This next chapter is called Ooey Gooey. Ooh, yuck! It's a worm! It's a worm! Get it off of me, Grandma! Get it off right now! I yelled. Grandma Miller quick took back the worm. For heaven's sake, Junie B, what in the world is the matter with you? It's just a baby earthworm. Look at how teeny he is. This little fellow would make a wonderful pet. I did a huffy breath at her. Yeah, only worms cannot be pets. Grandma, because pets have fur so you can pet them. And worms just have ooey gooey skin. <laughs> Grandma Miller looked surprised at me. Don't be silly, she said. Not all pets have fur. My bird Twitter doesn't have fur and he's a pet. And goldfish don't have fur and hermit crabs don't have fur, and lizards don't have fur, and I covered my ears with my hands. Okay, okay, enough with the fur, I said. <laughs> okay, okay, enough with the fur. <laughs> but worms don't have eyes or ears either, and they don't have legs or tails or feet or necks, and they don't chirp or bark or cluck or meow. And so what kind of stupid pet do you call that? <laughs> Grandma Miller thought and thought. Then she smiled real big. I call that the kind of pet that won't wake up the neighbors or sniff the company or scratch himself silly, she said back. After that, she stood up and she gave the baby earthworm to mother. I'll leave this little guy with your mother for now, she said. You can think it over and see if you want to keep him. I'll check back with you later. Then she kissed me on my head. And she grabbed the ice chest. And she hurried out the door. Mother looked at the baby worm in her hand. My goodness, you are a little one, aren't you, she said. She got an empty mayonnaise jar out of the cabinet. Then she poked holes in the lid for air, and she put the baby worm inside. Mother looked at him in there. You don't even know where you are, do you, little fella, she said. I bet it's kind of scary in there by yourself. I turned my back on her, because I knew what she was up to, that's why. You can't make me like him, Mother, I said. Nobody can make me like him. Of course not, said Mother, but just because you don't like him doesn't mean I can't like him. She talked to the worm some more. Hmm, maybe you would be happier if you had some dirt to crawl around in. She said, let's go outside and see what we can do. After that, Mother put on her jacket and went outside, and she digged in the dirt from her garden. She came inside and showed me the jar. It looked kind of cute in there. There was a rock and a stick and a dandelion and some clovers. I peeked at, that, at the baby worm. He peeked back, I think. Yeah, only I still don't like them, I said kind of softer. I rocked back and forth on my feet. And anyway, even if I did like him, I didn't know what, I don't know what worms eat. And so, what would I even feed that guy? Mother ruffled my hair. Are you kidding? That's the best part about worms, she said. They get all of their food right from the soil. You don't have to feed them anything at all. Just then, my baby brother started to cry. Uh-oh, the baby's crying, she said. Here, take this. Then she quick-handed me the jar and she runs right out of the room. All right. Well, thank you all for joining me for story time. We will pick up story time again to do chapters five, six, and seven on Monday. So you can also, this story time today will be available in the Google Classroom under the children's programs code. Um, if you need that, just let me know and I'll send it to you. But that will be available and we will be having a book club soon. I'm really excited about it. So if you all want your copy of this to check out just come by the library 
and pick it up. They are available at the front desk, and we will see you soon. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. Bye.